All right, I want to talk about some of the AMD price action lately. So first of all, AMD is to report earnings on the, uh, the 30th in about two weeks. So obviously NVIDIA has been on a tear lately all the way up after earnings yeah looks like it's about to drop and Nvidia so finally is trying to catch up so has been consolidating in this little range here between so it didn't actually touch the 200 daily EMA um, before it actually went up which is very interesting um, multiple tests trying to break out and failed and finally with this one it did break out so first of all RSI has been trending up here even though the price action is well this one compared to this one is actually this one is actually lower and it's even this these two are the same but it's still higher so there's a convergence um, also stoic momentum index also there's a increase and so is MACD so that's one bullish bar action take a break here so and then seven five finally broke out and went up so let's take a look at seven five so this is the break out for that day went a little bit higher and previously this is a s Monday right 7.5 is a oh no it's a Friday 7.5 is a Friday so and then immediately went up past the trend line huge bull volume and then pull back almost back to the beginning with much lower volume and then went back up pushes above the VWAP and continues so this is literally 50 minutes so let's look at the one minute um, So pre-market slight increase and then it goes above the 
VWAP continues to go up. So first minute, up, up, up. Um, take a break. Ten minutes in, st comes down. Huge bull bar with good volume. So that's when you're. That's when you know. So it tries to drop, but can't. Stays up. This is 53. And then I would probably buy. I would have bought here, I guess. Stop loss of obviously stop loss will be probably past this. This is after so it does pull back, but it didn't hit the prior highs even. Such a strong upper momentum. So this is right after a, a short day with kind of no action at all. So that's that day, that's this bar, and then the other bar was this one. I don't think there was any news that day. So this one was another kind of consolidation bar um, that I took out all my profits because I was like, oh, is it going to going start going down or um but I should have bought in on this bar that was after a good news so this bar um let me see seven ten that's when they have uh and they have good news about um a buying some kind of AI company for 600 million AMD to buy silo AI for 600 million um, so let's take a look at that day 710 so have a kind of a sideways action however this trend line was kept so that was a good sign you know, a little bit of consolidation is fine. How was the volume of that day? Yeah, lower volume. Today's uh So this was the pop when the news was re released. I mean, it was already kind of going up a little bit, so I, I should have just, um, and then, r and it was coming back down a little bit, and we see right at the open there was a back to its pre um, market high. The volume was very low. The selling volume was low with this one. And then start coming back up. So 
So on the one minute, it was even better. It's a nice little curve here. A selling, but the selling was very low volume. Low volume, low volume, low volume. Should have bought in around here. I was looking at it and and then you notice that it was going up. Uh, multiple test of the lows with you know a trending. RSI here. Should I buy in here and probably do a stop loss, maybe past the lows of pre. I'll probably do here. Oh no, that's probably too low to um small probably do the low of pre-market and then when past the trend line here look even stop a little bit because it was trying to respect the trend and it broke out so and then just went on a tear all the way up from 178 or 180 at least to 186 double the top break of trend line another push to new high and then drop That's beautiful Perfect.